Hey everybody, I'm here with Eric Reynolds. Hello. We're about to start the first sketchbook tour so far in this series. And let's jump right into it. Eric, while I'm starting with this first page, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? So I am currently 17 years old. I work two jobs seven days a week. And I like to skate fast and eat ass. Well said. Alright, so I was talking a little bit about... <laughs> about this sketchbook with you earlier and I actually helped out a bit on this page yeah but can we just recap what this was all about absolutely so this one was kind of this transcendental dream I had in which I was able to realize a lot about myself and it became a center point in a lot of thoughts I had and it became about pushing yourself out from chaos while aiming towards a higher ideal and that's all that that's pretty much the best way to summarize it and this is just a similar interpretation of it, but instead of being aiming towards a singular goal, it's just building off of each other and these links and shown through some kind of DNA and some kind of links of consciousness, if you will. Awesome. This is a very uh, corny... So, yeah, do you want to read these poems? Oh, a no, bunch not, of not poems this one. This one, this one here is just very yeah, corny. Yeah, yeah, I guess you know It was it just the, good, these dream... Should. This was kind of this dream state, this lucid dreaming state I could occasionally go into in which I was able to see these curves within things. Uh, this was just some experimenting with attempting to put my thoughts out in poetic ways, but none of them worked very well. Experimenting with characters, but it's very Yeah, cringe. yeah, well, it's a sketchbook. I went over this in my uh, channel intro, which probably most people wouldn't have watched, but it's all, like, it's a sketchbook. It's all about getting your ideas out. It's less about finished works and more about communication, which is uh, a major theme. I completely agree, yeah. It's about pushing yourself further through the medium. And this one kind of on the left is showcasing uh, during a period of my life how I was thinking about love and how pushing it onto one person may kind of push them away from you. And it's this weird law of attraction kind of thing where the more that you pursue something, the further it gets. And then the other is, once again, just a whimsical dream design that I was able to sketch up on a day. Everybody loves doing a few of those. These are mandalas meant to represent chakras, going from the three lower ones, representing with the Archangel Gabriel, and then going up through the higher ones. I'm still not complete all of them yet, but the next page showcases two potential designs. And then the other one is a bigger piece that I had in a, in a different dream, showing kind this of what... This one? Yeah, this right page. Showing what Jordan Peterson was calling a chaos monster and how we are in essence, one of them trying to pursue information. And it's kind of this map of this other place that I, that I go to in my dreams. And it's something I need to explore further. This is just a concept for some whirly-twirly stuff my friend was talking about. Door concept one. Are there other doors in here? No, not yet. No, that was the first one. This first uh, one on the series. left. Exactly. This, uh, this one on the left is a concept I'm having for these kind of waves of energy and I don't really even understand what I'm drawing it's just pushing forward something and then these are some tarot card readings about things I was going through <laughs> nice just as you do you know yeah like take notes around real life see what's really there this one I'm kind of still thinking about and then this is kind of an interesting set of poems I was, I was doing I'm still not complete but I need to do a visual for this one is it was kind of this period of my life in which I was just down and it kind of was talking about as I was writing it more was being revealed about my life and I was kind of understanding myself at a deeper level so it was this interactive piece that I was living in a way these are um, get these these kind of get into my dream works which yeah, I draw you, my you dreams. were telling me earlier this was unfinished yes but the and one the one on the right is a finished color. piece uh, that I quickly yeah. sketched after I woke up but the one on the left is still a work in progress as I... Yeah, I know, I know from... We got to about this point earlier when I was looking through a sketchbook. And there are some crazy stories behind some of these drawings. Oh, and yes. I'm sure we'll get into a few of them as we flip through. Absolutely. This one on the left is the finishing of the poem that I was working on earlier. Kind of just free form. I started being less restricted with my writing. And then on the other side, I was kind of documenting things I was learning about myself and that I was trying to understand with this weird split in my mind that I was creating. 
and these kind of talk about ways that I was interpreting what these ideas were in my head, trying to conceptualize them in some way. And then this was about the idea as Jordan Peterson phrases and actually just is phrasing what I was thinking is you elevate yourself out of the depths of chaos by orienting yourself towards a goal and as you build yourself out you are able to lift others while being the form that both watches what is happening and is actually what is happening. So it's this weird dual nature that we inhabit that I was Yeah, there's a lot of about. that theme in here. This talks about things within my life that I have been planning and wanting to do and once again kind of some free form free form poetry. Yeah, let me know if there's any of these poetry poet uh, poems that you'd like to read out. Maybe back earlier later, but this one's kind of more dream work that I'm doing is this one was a scene relating back to Egyptian mythology where I saw Anubis and I interacted with him and he judged me and it was all very mythical and then it was kind of this modern myth of the family that I was being a part of and still unfinished but conceptions there. This is kind of strange figures telling me things about myself the one on the right being kind of this father figure I saw who communicated things to me through the dreams and the other is this being I saw within myself and Anyone who's a fan of JoJo will understand what this is, but it's something strange. And then these are the things I'm currently working on and finishing. So this one is detailing about dreams and about these things that I've been kind of studying through philosophy, history, and all of these different conceptual things. And it's kind of giving these ideas. And then the one on the right is the one I'm currently working on which is conceptualizing this kind of dragon-like monster that, that communicates with me through these dreams. And it's kind of this like city place that I inhabit. And it's this, just this... connects to my dreams that I've been having. That's all I can really say. It's my best interpretation. And then this Ooh. is a language that I have started to... It looks secret. ...work on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that is currently all that there has been written within this one. Awesome. I have a separate notebook that's more of a journal, but that is not to be shown yet. More work incoming. So, that's all we have for time, and we got through the sketchbook, so that's pretty good. Hell yeah. And I'll see you all next week.